Hi everyone, I am going to discuss about the dynamic DLL. So how to load uh, DLL dynamically in Delphi, I am going to explain. So here I have created uh, one sample application in Delphi. So first I have created the DLL and uh, if you see that we can create the DLL and uh, we see the view source and what I have done it, uh, I have taken the two method, right? One is the main method, okay? And it will uh, main function and uh, one is the max function. And passing the two parameter, it's checking uh, if uh, first parameter is less than y, then min will be x, otherwise y. Similar way for the max function, right? And uh, after that, uh, uh, on the basis uh, of the parameter, it will return the value. And here the export keyword, right? So which are the method you want to export from the DL, right? So max I'm exporting. So min I'm not exporting. So min will not access it whenever you want to access this min from the outside, uh, from other application, okay? Uh, using uh, this DLL. So if you try to call the main, you will not able to call from the application, right? So first we need to compile it. And we can see that in the release mode, uh, we will go and see the DLL is created for this. So in exploring, so here we can see that in the release mode, DLL is created, okay? So this DLL path we need to take in. Right, because we need to give the reference when we are trying to load this DLL. So after that, I have created an uh, application that's uh, one form is there in this, and this an OK button. I am trying to load this DLL into the memory. So first, what we need to do it, whatever the method we have exported, right? That we have to take the procedural type. So we know that the procedural type, how to create the procedural type. So uh, whatever the procedural function, that name, we, we don't give the name of that uh, method, right? function or procedure we don't give the name and after that what are the parameter and data type okay and return type so what we we are doing here we will declare the type so t proc max type i have declared okay of this function right so this is the for the procedure type and what i'm doing on the button click just i'm creating the variable of the t proc max type this function type okay i have taken the variable now I have taken the variable of the T handle, okay, where we will uh, we'll store the load library, okay. So first thing is we need to load the library. So what we will do, load the library, it requires one parameter, and that is the DLL. So we have to give the DLL path. So this DLL we want to load into the memory, okay. So we will load the memory, we will get the reference into the handle, okay. If handle is not equal to zero, that means it is loaded successfully, DLL is loaded successfully. And after that we can get the get proc address. So we can get the procedure address. So like max we have exported. So we will get the address of the max function. Okay. So max is what? Actually, this is the function we have exported, right? So max is the function that we have exported. So this max function we, we want to see it in the loaded library, right? The library we have loaded that is there or not. So if any address we will find out for this method, that means successfully, right? Uh, this uh, this successfully loaded and available this max, max function is available in this. Uh, memory right uh, where the DLL is loaded so get proc address will give right it will return the address of the max function in this uh, memory where the DLL is loaded okay so we can store into the at the rate of proc max so this is the procedural type so we can store into the pointer type right because the address so we'll take the pointer type of the the proc max variable and store it right we will check it if this address is not equal to nil that means something is assigned in the proc max then what we'll do then that means this max method is available in this dlm and we can call it right so what we'll call it this max max, max method we can't call it we will call it this the the this is the procedure type right t proc max right so we have declared here the proc max variable of t proc max so this t proc max now we'll call it and t proc max it will take the two parameter okay because this is nothing but the the max function right it's represent the max function because uh, the proc max also have the two parameter x and y uh, integer type right and return type is integer similar like here we, we can see that in the dll so we call that the proc max and pass the parameter so it will return this method will return the max number okay and after that i'm just uh, getting the value and putting it into the label okay uh, then finally we need to free the library because uh, it will occupy some memory so we need to free it so let's run and see it